Well, nine gulps actually cleared it, so um, if I can do it now, I'm going to uh, hopefully take this one here, the chocolate milk, and transfer it into this thing. Because once this thing is open, I can't reseal it, you see. Uh, the usual thing. There we do this. They're going to have to work out a better system. It's not quite, it's almost there, but not quite, you know. So I'm going to, what's this process called? Not transfer, this is not relaying. What's the word? Decanting, that's it. I've just decanted this one into that one. And reseal that for a little bit later. Put this one, okay. And off we go, I suppose. I think, as I said, the first thing to do is to, oh, hang on. I forgot to take the, the little, <laughs> so the last clip there you've been, uh, Missing out on some of the bird noises, I would say. Or the, the surround sound sort of thing. Oh. He's just making sure my car gears are in the pocket. Nothing worse than getting back to your car after working your butt off all day and uh, not being able to get in your car to get that drink you can see on the back seat or something. Well, maybe I should have cleaned the internal lens because the flareage here is absolutely stunning. Whether we're actually going to see something down there, like a green crescent or some sort of... Or it's just going to be a case of working it back there to... I don't know, are we actually going to find something today, fellas? It's going to be our third time unlucky. Well, Mugs Law says that the fact we didn't find the walkie-talkie says we should be more successful here. You know, one disappointment leads to a... You can't really have two disappointments in one day, surely not. Not following one another. It's like tossing a coin. Once you've had a head, you're more likely to get a tail on the next one, aren't you? So, from probability, they're supposed to have equal probabilities, aren't they? Hmm. That's quite a deep philosophical mathematical argument, isn't it? From one point of view, a head and tail should have equal probability, but the fact that you've already had one, is the other one more likely? Hmm. Is there any way of proving one is more likely than the other? Anyway. Or is a better way to phrase the, oh here's a really, really red one. Is it saying that before you've tossed any coins, you have an equal probability of having a head or a tail when you toss a coin but once you've tossed the first toss and you've got a head or a tail if you've got oh if you've got a head you're more likely to get a tail on the next toss and if you've had a tail you're more likely to get a head on the next toss is that a better way of framing the question or the argument subtle isn't it it's really subtle before you've tossed anything <laughs> you're more likely to get a head if you've had a tail, or you're more likely to get a tail if you've had a head. It sounds rather rude saying it that way, but anyway. <laughs> but look at the, look at the mist coming in through there, or the, or I don't know, it's mist, or is it uh, just dust in the air or something, being kicked up? Yeah, stunning. Okay, now this looks almost like the other thing we did the other day. He almost looks the same, you know. I think I'm just going to walk along here and... Hmm, where were we before when we did that? Uh, we were on the... Where were we before when we did that? We weren't out here, were we? I'm trying to think where we did that now. I'm, I'm getting confused in my mind where we were. Oh, Jesus. That looks like that's been shipped. No, no kangaroo can shift that, surely. Someone shifted that for some reason. Maybe it was one of these cachet things, you know, go and find something in the bush by GPS. And it was hidden under that stone or something, and they've lifted it up. Well, there's no animal, no possible way an animal was going to be shifting that sort of weight, I don't think. Uh, we weren't out here before, we're in, I'll come back to the same location. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, damn it, we, we're doing exactly the same, but I've come to, to the same location by a different route. It just looks awfully familiar. And we've already been here before. Mm, yes, because we came down the track. 
Oh, okay. Anyway, fellas. So that's the main... Uh, okay, so it's a case of going back there and going back to where we said we were going to go. Okay. Yes, I think, fellas, this looks like it could be the thing we did the other day, but we came from that direction, didn't we? So it is a case of going back to here and looking over. So we may have actually missed the pool by... We missed the pool by one vista. We should have just got another 20 or 30 metres around that corner and we probably would have seen something. <laughs> it's just it was getting really late in the day and we... And we didn't feel like pressing on. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, we, we wouldn't wouldn't talk about it. how what, what would Mr. Mr. Meldrew say? He just wouldn't believe it. <laughs> yeah, I really need to get into that scissor. I said I when I sit down there and do my thesis, I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be writing a paragraph or a few sentences or titles, sitting down watching an episode of uh, that's assuming we, we get out of Abbott Land back in Australia and things start to get back to normal. Otherwise I might even end up on the streets myself rather than supplying my mental services to people out there. No, you want to do it this way. This is the way. This is the most magnanimous way to do this. Or something like that. Now, learn from me, work back from crazy. You got a better chance of success that way, don't you? <laughs> I've been there and done that. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> Try this. <laughs> yeah. I've been to crazy and back again, fellas. Oh, look at that. That's definitely gotta be a screenshot, surely. If I can just hold the smeeing camera long enough, maybe take that out of the way. How about, oh, I can't even see it in the screen, hang on. Oh, it's black and white in the bloody screen. Hang on. How about that? Is that close enough? Is it going to focus? Anyway, we gave it a good go. But geez, that mushroom's going to be the... I reckon that's going to be the thumbnail, fellas. Oh geez, I'm going to... I'm going to stick that out in the front of... That was just amazing. I reckon that... I reckon that's the sign. That's definitely a sign. Isn't that... Isn't that called the death cap or something? <laughs> oh yes. Mr. Abbott, if it wasn't me, unfortunately, we were given a sign. You're fucking Gonski. That's the sign. Well, that's the way I'm reading it anyway. We gave you a chance, but we were given the sign. We were given the nod. Okay. Mother Nature's gave us the nod. It's okay, fellas, go for it. Oh, look at this. Oh, see, look at that. I mean, that one just stands out compared to all the others. That one. Oh, yeah. There's always one that really stands out. Yeah. Oh, well, fellas, I mean, hmm. There's a case of just pushing on down and around. Until we get to something that gives us, gives us a little bit of hope. Yeah, all we need is a little bit of hope in Abbott Land. Well, I think we've been given the, I think we've been given the sign, we've been given the nod. Mother Nature's given us the nod, I reckon. Yeah. Message to the world, we've been given the nod. If we go a little bit crazy over, over the next six months, just brace yourself, we've been given the nod by Mother Nature. She's given us the tick of approval, just go for it. Wow, he doesn't believe in climate change. Doesn't care about Antarctica, you know. Douglas Mawson's got us about a third of that. Well, probably more than that, I think it's more than a third, wasn't it? Oh, well, there you go. Oh, look at the colours on that, you know. The more I talk about Mother Nature, the more it seems like she's saying, well, there you go, I like, I like, oh, oh, I like what you said there. Here, cop this. <laughs> yeah. Anthropomorphic. Yeah. But you never know. Oh, there you go. 
Whoa! Oh, gee, that was. Oh, gee, did I? Sorry, fella. I didn't mean to. Oh, yeah. Some of them are so dark you can hardly see them against the soil. But I suppose it means that we've got to get out to the Brian D'Antonio Antonio site probably next week, I would say. Sometime next week. Just have a, another recce out there. And, oh, look at the uh, lichen on this. Looks like it's starting to grow back or something. So maybe they do go into like a, a dormancy state. Oh, 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 oh yes, I'm, I'm seeing something down there. So, uh, I don't know if we're on the back end of it or going towards it, but we're, I think we're having a little bit more success, fellas, today. Now, anyway, as I said, it's a mug's law. Oh, jeez, look at the greenage on there. Wouldn't you? Oh, and a lovely lichen. A bit of fructose lichen there. you got a fern there. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at that. Oh, yeah, stunning. And it's just going to get better and better over the next three months before we, we get right deep into the season. Oh, I can see water. Yes. Bingo. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Mother Nature. Oh, I needed that. Oh, that's, oh, I'll call that strike too. Thank you very much. Yes. Bingo. I mean, geez, look at the size of that. And the other thing up the road is three times the size of that, according to the map anyway. So we'll definitely be uh, trying to go there tomorrow, I reckon. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Is that an old mine site or something? It looks like, well, the water's really dark. It may be a bit dangerous, fellas, so I may have to take it gingerly or come back with a rope or something anyway it's probably time to start a new clip actually and walk down to it